my mentors were wonderful and they taught me how to think about mysticism and mythology but not the miraculous or the paranormal or the anomalous none of those things were ever talked about the only historian of religions in the 90s talking about this was Jess Hollenbach um who's an american scholar of religion and wrote a big big book just called mysticism and the subtitle had empowerment in the in the subtitle but Jess was basically talking about parapsychological phenomena and but he was alone he was basically alone in the 90s um when i started to look into this i had to go back to william james and his friend frederick myers who really started a lot of this but i also became utterly enamored of charles fort who if you have not read charles fort you just must um and then i also became really taken with jacques vallee who's a contemporary of ours um a french astronomer and computer scientist who writes beautiful books about the ufo phenomenon and also a, a french sociologist named bertrand neust who is also our contemporary and i took those four authors and i formed them into this book called authors of the impossible as a way of showing how this was theorized at very different points you know frederick myers in the 19th century uh charles ford in the in the 20s and 30s in the us now um Jacques Vallée in France and then the US in the 70s 80s mostly and then Bertrand Muest uh mostly in the 90s and the 2000s um and just kind of this sweep of of people thinking about this but I had to recover those people um they had essentially been just forgotten or not read at all in in Bertrand's case because it's all in French I'm the most impressed with the precognitive phenomena um and i realized that once we take those seriously <laughs> we're we're down a rabbit hole and and space and time no longer are functioning the way they're supposed to and i just i just found that so intellectually delicious and um so provocative and so convincing i mean the precognitive stuff to me is just kind of you just kind of give up at some point you're like yeah to sit in a room with experiencers and scientists is just first of all it's hilarious um but it's just so much fun because these scientists of course were very open minded and very they had big hearts and big minds and they were laughing too they were giggling along and it was just great it was fantastic and it really shifted me uh changed me about what i thought about science for one thing but also what i thought about religion i i have long found the materialist paradigm literally and clinically depressing i i think it leads to despair and nihilism and it's it, it it's 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 a real part of the problem of the world and and it and it and it's literally nihilistic there's no meaning in it um i find these other models of mind as somehow fundamental uh and behind behind say cosmic evolution or biological evolution i find them utterly fascinating i think they tie into science fiction in really interesting ways um i think they lead to new mythologies um new conceptions of what the human is um i just and they're just fun uh i mean i talk about these things i i've like i've given hundreds of lectures at universities and podcasts and, and people are just they're just having fun i mean it's they're laughing and they're like you can see their eyes light up and i mean it's 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 a different world it's a different world to live in